Hi everyone, in today's quick video I want to show you how to create a leather shader using just a single texture. So I'm gonna just jump into it and drag and drop the texture to my shader editor here. By the way, the shader, texture and the scene can be downloaded from the link provided in the video description. But now let's just connect the color inputs and have a very quick preview on the material. So by the way, you can see I have just a standard principle BSDF setup and with the leather textures or leather materials in general, what you want to recreate are those skin pores you usually have on a surfaces like that. So to make them visible and use just a single texture for that, I'm gonna use a converter separate RGB node a workflow you probably already know if you watch my videos and I'm gonna see which one of those color channels give me the best input. So I'm looking at dark values on top of the pores and white values uh, in those, well, let's call them cracks or lower points of the texture. This looks pretty cool, but I think the contrast might be a little bit too much, but yeah, let's, let's try it. So I'm gonna now connect this input to the roughness slot here, and I'm gonna change the look of my material to something darker so I have a better preview of the roughness. So right now, as I was guessing, because we have a lot of dark values, the material is very reflective, but we can change that by adding converter and the color ramp node. So once we add it to the texture, if we change the interpolation of this graph to B spline, which is the softest one, you can see the texture already becomes a little bit better looking. And now if we move this handle to the left, we can actually have this effect. So I'm not sure yet if this is what I'm looking for. Let's maybe try enhancing the contrast this way. And if you're not happy with the result, you can always reconnect the color channel. So I'm going to try with the green one. And yeah, I think it gives us better result. We don't have that much contrast within the material itself. So let's play around with those handles uh, just a few more seconds. And I think this is an overall pretty good result as for the roughness. What you want to do now is setting up the bump of our shader. So let's press Shift A, uh, Vector, and let's choose the bump node, connect the inputs, and now let's use uh, one of the coral color channels. We might need a bit more contrast in bump, so let's use the blue channel. Let's reconnect the roughness so we only see the bump uh, previewed. I'm gonna now reduce the distance to 0.1 and move down the strength slider. So I think we don't need that much uh, roughness or that much bump within our material. So I'm gonna use the values of let's say 0 0.075 like this. Let's now reconnect the roughness and Overall, this already gives us an impression of this material. Let's maybe actually increase the bump a little bit more to something like this. And now let's reconnect the colors again. So we will have the full preview of everything. Um, yeah, I think we should have kept the bump a little bit lower. Let's go down to 0.1 maybe. And still, if you would like to fine tune the color of your shader, uh, I'm usually using the RGB curves for that because they are the most flexible tool, in my opinion, if you want to change the, the brightness of a material, generally speaking. If you would like to play around with uh, colors, hue, like color values like hue and saturation, there is a special note for that. Just drag and drop it here and again using those sliders here we can affect the look so perhaps if we go a little bit down with this value towards the red tint this improves the look we can also reduce the saturation slightly to something like this and 
voila, more or less, I would say this is pretty decent looking uh, leather shader. So thanks everyone for watching and see you in another Chocofer video. Bye bye.